Hey, it's Joe Lines, and in this video we're going to demonstrate something I've been working on with uh, Outlook that will go through, and uh, what it's going to do is it's going to iterate over every email in, well, you can select the um, the different folders and inboxes and whatnot. Um, when, when you select it, it'll go through and iterate over every email and build a list based using the email address as the key of the uh, number of emails you've sent or received from that email address the uh, last date that you received one, um, the overall number of attachments, and file size and stuff. So let's go ahead and launch the script here. So it took a second here because it actually went over every folder in my different accounts, so we have the bolded things to say, like these are the different PST or accounts files. Um, and you can, it works here, I can select this, this will select everything beneath it, so I can kind of decide what I want to run it on. Um, I'm going to skip this one, and we're out of here. Okay, so once you have, wow, that's that's got a lot in that one. Um, and then, let's, uh, you know, that's going to be a lot. Hey, who cares, All right? So I'll start. Um, here now it grays out, or you know, blacks and grays in here. Um, and here you can see it's it's iterating over the sent folder. Uh, but it's going to jump across each of the folders, and um, maybe at some point I'll have a total count overall so you get an idea of where it is, of how many folders you have more to go. Uh, but it's going to iterate over each folder. Um, so I had a thousand emails in my inbox, um, and then it starts getting through each subfolder. And um, as I said, it's running a total. The other thing that's pretty cool is if uh, after I, I run through this, if I rerun it, it um it basically blinks right. What it does is it it gets in each folder. It says, "Hey, what's the last time we received the email in this folder?" And then it'll um it uses that as an index. So the next time you run it, it doesn't look at a predate. Um, so it won't add extra. If you run it again, it won't go back and add the same emails, count the same email same emails again. So it's continuing to plug along here. I probably should have just you know picked some first to run this as an example, because I'm not sure if I can just keep on talking. Wow, 7,770 in my sent folder. Um, but o overall, I mean, honestly, I I should have counted all overall how many emails we have, right? But it is a lot. Um, so probably like, you know, 20, 30,000 emails, uh, at least, considering I have 7,700 in my sent folder. Um, we're halfway through it. Maybe all I'll do is pause it, and then I'll demonstrate um, when it's done running what you can export and how the data looks. Right now I have it dumping into a tab delimited file, uh, which of course can be easily imported into Excel. What I'll probably do is build a function that says export and open into Excel, and that way for most people who have Excel it'll automatically import it, make it look a little pretty, you know, build in some drop downs that you can choose from. And let me go ahead and fire up Excel. I'm just curious. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, I have 10,000 emails in an important folder, which I don't even know what that is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pause this real quick, and then when it comes back, I'm going to let it finish running, just because it's iterating over everything, and then we'll see where we are. Okay, it's finished running. It ran for about another minute, a uh, minute and a half, maybe. So I'm going to hit Actually, you know what? Let me let me do this. So I left everything selected. Then I hit start again, and what you'll notice is it should almost blink, right? Because it's going to iterate over each one of those and say, "Hey, we've already exported those emails." Um, so right now, oh, it was done. Right, it went through and said, "Oh, no new emails." If I had received more emails, it would have added them to the list. So now I'm going to say export email address. It right now is going to dump it in the same folder as to where the um, the script is running but I'll probably build in a tool there that will tell it, um, ask where you want to export it to. And let me, so say, copy path of this file. And now in Excel here, I'm basically going to open this file. So I'm going to open, paste in the path, hit finish, because tab to limited data works great in Excel. Um, uh, and, and I added here this, this um, account column. Let me freeze this, freeze top row. So this is telling me what um, inbox it was under, because I wanted to kind of keep track of, by each inbox, you know, how many emails that I have in each of those things. Um, and here, let me say here, so let me let me also sort, let me add my filters, and I'm going to sort and see who, who I receive 
the most emails from obviously myself um, but it it when there's a name present right it'll pull in the name of the person but more often than not it's an email address um, and again so this this is the count which I'm here this is where I would love to add a I'll make it pretty oop, in a, in Excel when I do that import process how can I have an increase but not a decrease uh, button there anyway uh, and look I have so 2398 unique email addresses overall it's not really unique because I probably have overlap across the accounts uh, but I can see who I get the most emails from and and then the la this is the last date I've received the email from them um, so apparently I emailed myself on uh, 9-8 and the size so this is the um, size of all the emails and the number of um, sorry this is the size of all the attachments and this is the number of attachments both of these seem to me just just to kind of gauge like hey how much do I work with this person so I, I view this as a um, there's a couple ways I can use this and and one of it is just to understand who I do a lot of work with so let's say I'm a, I'm a sales guy and I left a company and the, I'm a manager of that sales guy and I have his PC but I don't have a way to go through his inbox and see who he's been working with and stuff this would be a great easy way to build a list of people to understand who I've been interacting with a lot and the most recently I'm a bit of them. the other one is let's say I'm that salesperson and I'm leaving and I want to know you know I want to get track of my clients and stuff well I could run this before I leave and build a list of um, who I've been working with and whatnot but uh, it's pretty pretty awesome tool overall I mean, it, it's the these uh, tree views makes it really easy to to view the different things that are beneath it and select which folders you want to do um, right now actually for the calendar doesn't export anything I'm probably gonna build a separate one that says hey if I export calendar grab different fields from the calendar right but uh, that's it thanks